As the coronavirus crisis hit long-term care facilities hard, family visits were put on hold last March. But Pennsylvania and many other states have since rolled back those heart-wrenching policies. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Killer has the story from Allied Services Mead Street residents in Wilkesbury. It's been a long nearly five months for families like the Perry family, but now finally they are able to visit with special guidelines in place. Hi, Mom. Mommy, how are you how, today? How are you? It's great to see you. 96-year-old Lucille Perry is back to getting in-person right. visits from her family at Allied Services Mead Street residence. Are you okay? She wants to know if you're okay. I'm all right. This interaction is much needed relief from the day upon day, week upon week, frustration of isolation. Well, I knew all along that she was very well cared for. They always engage all of their residents, but now I know that mom looks healthy. This facility resumed in-person visits two weeks ago, but with precautions. 97.7. Visitors must undergo a COVID screening to determine if they're healthy before seeing their loved one. They must also maintain six feet social distance, sanitize their hands, and wear masks during the visit, which is held outdoors and under supervision. A lot of precautions, but... At least I see them. It's better than not seeing them. It's so wonderful to be this close to her. It's been, as you know, Mark, uh, many, many months. And uh, for a while, it was probably 50 feet trying to have a conversation with her through a window. To be outside visiting, not through a screen, not over FaceTime. There's just a positive flow throughout the entire facility. Everyone is just so much happier now. Families can visit daily if they like. I think it's very, very wonderful that they're able to come here as often as they do. Families like the Perrys will be able to continue their visitation outdoors as weather permits. After that, they'll have to move indoors with only two family members present at a time. In Wilkesbury, with the Health Beat, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. And Allied Services also says its facilities, like Mead Street residents, must be COVID free for at least 14 days to maintain in person visits.